This is CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, number 113. So here we're given f of x is a piecewise defined function. The first piece is ax squared plus b, for x is less than 0. So remember, if this is our x and y axis, this piece is just to the left of the y axis. 2ax plus 5 for 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. So we're having that function just between 0 and 1 here. So it's just between these two values. And finally, 3x minus b for x is greater than or equal to 1. So that's just at 1, everything to the right of 1. All right. Our goal is to find the values of a and b so that f of x is continuous at both x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So what's so interesting about these two points is that that's where the transition is happening from one piece to the other piece. Okay, so at x, at x is equal to 0, we know that we're having a transition between these two graphs, right? For them to be continuous means that we never lift up our pencil, means that these two equal to each other at x equals to 0. So at x is equal to 0, ax squared plus b equals 2ax plus 5. Okay, that's what this tells us. For it to be continuous, this has to be true. Also, at x is equal to 1, that's this other transition, right then we know that this piece has to equal the other for it to be continuous 2ax plus 5 has to equal to 3x minus b so here we have a system of two equations and we have two unknowns and <clears throat> we got to solve for um, a and b so the good thing here is though that <clears throat> in the first equation we have x is equal to 0. So that's going to help us out a little bit because then we can rewrite a x squared plus b, right? We can go ahead and rewrite this because x is 0, so that's going to cancel out this and we're just left with b on the left side equals to 2 times ax. Well, x is 0, right? x is 0, so that's just b is equal to 5. Yay! That was a lot easier than maybe you thought. Okay, we got b is equal to 5 just from part where x is 0. Let's see what we can gain from this um, piece. Let's go ahead and plug in x is equal to 1, right? So let's go ahead and plug that in. We get 2 times a times 1, so that's just 2a plus 5, equals to 3 times, well, x is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3 minus b. Okay? So what can we do now? Well, we can use the fact that we know b has to equal to 5 to solve for a. So 2 times a plus 5 equals to 3 minus b, which is 5. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. 2a plus 5 is equal to negative 2. Subtract 5 from both sides, and we get 2a on the left is equal to negative 7. That means a, divide both sides by 2, is negative 7 over 2. So that means for um, this piecewise defined function to be continuous, a has to equal to negative 7 over 2, which is, if you plug in your calculator or no, is negative 3.5, and b has to equal to 5. All right? So don't be intimidated by this problem. It was pretty simple because the first part just shows us if we plug in x equals to 0, b is 5. That's going to end for us. CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, number 113.